Hello guys, this is your Chakravarti and this tutorial I am going to explain about HTML5. HTML is a hypertext markup language which is used to design the web pages. The HTML5 means hypertext markup language version 5. Previously we have HTML 4.7 and HTML 1.0 versions but in this HTML5 we have new elements for audio and video in this html there are three major parts they are tags elements and attributes at first tags tags are used to define what type of content you have to display on the web page these tags are specified by using the text which is enclosed by angular brackets the every html tag will contain the clause tag next elements Elements means content. The element represents the data which is displays on the web browser. These elements are enclosed by start and end of the tags. And next, attributes. Sometimes we have to apply some properties to the elements and tags. At that time, we have to use these attributes to identify the tags. The requirements for the HTML5 is text editors and web browsers the famous text editors like edit plus notepad and notepad plus plus and the web browsers like chrome firefox internet explorer and etc this is the html comment tag in this tag we can place the comments which belongs to the html tag this tag contains the exclamation mark preceded to the content uh, and html tag HTML tag is the root tag to the HTML file and this HTML tag that means root tag should have the proper end tag and the content of the HTML divided into two types that is head section and body section the head section uh, gives the information about the HTML face that means metadata and HTML title this metadata specifies that the character decoder uh, to the compiler of browser generally used character decoder is utf8 and the next is title tag this title tag contains the title of the html documents this this title will display on the browser tag and the content which is placed inside the body tag will be displayed on the web browser saving this html doc is like save as and type the file name dot html and select the location where the page has to save and the page has saved on a desktop location and double click on that in the format uh, this file is saved in the format of html and double click on that then we can see that uh, the page then we can see that the information which is inside the body is displayed on web browser uh, let me modify some content of the body and and save this and refresh the browser page and you can see reflected data on the browser okay now i am going to show you some important tags of html html have six types of headings they are called by as h1 and h2 h3 h4 h5 and h6 the representation of the tags will be like this h1 tag heading tag h2 heading tag h3 heading tag h3 h4 heading tag and h5 heading tag and h6 heading tag based upon the requirement we can use any type of heading tags and and the next is the paragraph and line tags paragraph and line tags here the speed tag specifies that the paragraph we can write any paragraph in this tag and that will be shown in the web page like this paragraph and this b tag specifies that this will apply to the bold effect to the text which is inside this tag and this i tag gives italic font style to the font which is inside this tag and next i am going to show you the types of lists 
there are two types of list in html they are unordered list and ordered list the unordered list in the html is defined by using ul that means on order list this is the type of the list is means uh, which type of symbol have to appear in front of the list item in front of the list item then uh, the list items will be specified by using li tag li list item one and they will appear on the web page like this and next one is order list this order list will be defined by using ol tag that means order list the type one specifies that which type of uh, order that means uh, numerical or uh, roman style here i have given and i have given the numerical style like 1 2 3 4 and the value starts by 6 we can modify this value like 5 save the file and refresh the list will be appears from 5 6 7 8 and as usually the list items will be specified by using li tag and next i'm going to show you how to work with tables tables are used to display the contents in the tabular form and the html page this tabular form will be created by using table tag table tag this border specifies that the thickness of the table border and in this table tag we have to mention the rows and columns right rows and columns this tr tag specifies that the table row and the th tag specifies that the table header that means heading of that column and then this td tag specifies this td tag specifies that the table data here i have used three rows and two columns that means was row one row two and row three the columns are first column and second column this is the data of first row first column this is the data of first row second column as usually this is the second row first column this is second row second column and the table tag will be closed by using closed table tag in next working with hyperlink the hyperlinks are used to redirect from one page to another page that means creating the link between two html pages these hyperlinks are created by using the tag a and h refer this h refer defines that hyperlink reference so in uh, to what page this link has to redirect to what page this link has to redirect we have to specify that uh, log in dot html that means you have to give the target page name as like this and this text between the these two tags will appear on the browser will appear on the browser okay when we click on this then this page will redirect to the uh, login page and next i'm going to show you how working with input elements like text boxes and buttons radio buttons and check boxes that first i want to show you working with text boxes these text boxes are input elements these text boxes are defined by using tag input type equal to text text this value means identifier uh, the password field will be created by using input type equal to password like this this will create the non readable format the password will change to the non readable format like stars and dots by using these tags we can create the login pages and whatever the text fields in a, we can use in our web pages and this is the button the button will be created by using input type equal to submit there are two types of buttons like submit and reset and the value is submit this means the text which are going to show on button and this br tag specifies that next line line space if you give two that gives two lines of line space and the next input type is radio buttons the radio buttons are used to specify either male or female whatever for that requirement we have to create the radio button so these radio buttons are created by using input type equal to radio by this we can create the radio buttons like that and then 
go to check boxes these check boxes are used to uh, selection process like multiple choices and checking or remember me at that time you have to use these check boxes if you are in order to use this check this check boxes in our uh, web pages you can create these check boxes by using input type equal to check boxes then you will you can create the check boxes and next i am going to show you it's working with image sometimes we have to display the image at that time we can use uh, this tag that is image tag the image tag helps you to display the images in the web page this src means source that which image has to display on the web page and this height and width shows that height of the image and width of the image and next i am going to show you how to work with videos sometimes we have to play some videos in our web pages like youtube and some other tutorial html provided a video element iframe this iframe tag allows you to play the videos on web pages this src means so as we know that source to that iframe this height specifies that height of the iframe and this width specifies that width of the iframe in this iframe we can the videos and we can pause the videos and we can forward and we can increase or decrease the volume and we can switch to the video to the full screen and this is the complete information about the important html tags and i hope you are all like this if you like this video please leave your comments at below and share this video onto your social networking sites and thanks for watching this video